Well, she spent 10 days in Saudi Arabia on a sacred pilgrimage called Umrah. Noor Tagore was among millions of Muslims who take the journey to renew themselves spiritually. Now we are getting an up-close look through Tagore's eyes as she talked with reporter Denise Douglas about what she learned and the impact the trip has had on her life. Hi there. We are taking CTV a little bit international today, talking with Noor Tagore. She volunteers here and is about to graduate from the University of Maryland in a few weeks, so woo-woo for her. But she has been talking to us all morning about this very exciting trip that she just came back from Saudi Arabia, where she went on a religious pilgrimage, and uh, we wanted to share that with you. So, Noor, talk to us a little bit about this pilgrimage. You said it's called the Umrah, yes, and you and your Umrah. family went, right? So my family and I went to Saudi Arabia for 10 days. We spent five days in Medina and then five days in Mecca where the pilgrimage takes place. And it was just a trip for us to go. And people take this trip typically just kind of to revive their spirituality, kind of get a fresh start. And so we spent the five days in Medina and that's where the Prophet's mosque is. And that's also where he's buried. And it was just, um, it's a place for prayer and it's extremely, extremely peaceful. Like you feel super calm while you're there and you kind of do a lot of reflecting, a lot of shopping. And uh, then you take a trip to Mecca and that's where you actually do the act of pilgrimage uh, of Umrah, which a total, it takes for one, it takes about a couple of hours, but, um, since we stayed there for five days, we did one every day. And how do you feel after doing this? Because just in that description, and plus what you were telling us earlier in the newsroom, it just sounds really interesting and just really fulfilling. Yeah, it definitely is. It's kind of like an escape from reality for a little bit. And you reflect on what's important to you, and you feel closer to your creator. And that's really what the whole trip is about. Um, I kind of like made a list of things that I wanted to pray for and ask for. And when you go, typically people who know you're going, they'll ask you if you can make a prayer for them for this and this and this. And you kind of just feel revived and refreshed when you come back. It's not an easy trip because it's a challenge, but it's like you put in a lot of work because typically while you're here and you're in work and you're in school um, and you don't have time for that to focus enough, Going there is kind of like a reality check. And you were struck by a number of things, just the amount of people. You said millions yes. of people. And then also you said you were struck by the diversity of people. Talk a little bit about just how many people you think or could guesstimate were there in, in terms of diversity. What does that mean in a place like um at any Mecca. place, you see hundreds of thousands of people, especially in Mecca. And I loved seeing the diversity in Medina. And it's a different kind of diversity than the diversity that we see here. Because these are people who have saved up money their entire lives to be at this place, to make this trip. And so they come from all kinds of backgrounds. The main language of the cities is Arabic, but not that doesn't mean that the people who come visit it speak it. And so you're seeing all of these people who look different than you've ever seen and uh, speak different languages. And a lot of a lot of people are very, very old or they're very, very sick um, because they're trying to make these last trips of spirituality. And some people who are there are just people who have waited for for their entire lives to just make it there, and you can see that. Exciting, very interesting. And if people want to continue and follow you and take a look at some of your pictures and all that, you're saying you've got an Instagram account, a Facebook account, and a Twitter account, all at Ntagori, and you can uh, continue to follow Noor and check out this exciting journey and everything else that uh, she has experienced there. We're going to toss it back to you over at the news desk. All right, and as Denise mentioned, you can see more about Noor's trip by following her at Ntagori on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram.